Hi there. Now in this tutorial, what I want to do is show you how we go about working out the area of a sector and the arc length L when the angle theta is measured in radians. Now we should already be familiar, I'm assuming that you've looked at my previous video on this, where we've worked out the area of a sector when it's in degrees. And I showed you that that was a fraction of the area of the complete circle. That fraction was the angle theta compared to the angle all the way around, which would be 360 degrees. So it was this fraction of the area of a complete circle, pi r squared. And also when it came to the arc length L, that arc length was based off a similar idea. It was essentially a fraction, that fraction again was the angle theta out of 360 degrees. And it was this fraction then of the circumference, the distance all the way around the circle, which is 2 pi r. Or you could use pi times the diameter. Now, if theta is measured in radians, then it's not really that much different. Because when it comes to working out then the area of the sector, we've got to essentially do a fraction of the area of the complete circle. And that fraction will be the angle theta, but instead of being over 360 degrees, it's out of 2 pi radians, the number of radians in one complete turn. So it'd be theta divided by 2 pi. So it's this fraction of, hence the multiplication sign, the area of the circle, pi r squared. And when it comes to the arc length, okay, the arc length will be the same kind of thing. Fraction, theta, out of 2 pi radians of the circumference, 2 pi r. And so when I'm working out problems on areas of sectors and arc lengths, I tend to just go for these formally. But in this version, unlike the version you've got here, you can cancel these equations down. I'll show you. With this one here, you can cancel out the pi with the pi here. And in this one, for the arc length, you can cancel out the 2 pi with the 2 pi here. And if you do that, then this one here reduces down to theta r squared over 2. Some people know it as a half theta r squared or a half r squared theta. That's up to you. And for this one, the arc length reduces down to theta times r, or r theta. Again, it doesn't matter which way around you obviously do that. But I do find that people tend to remember these two formally, but forget that when they're in degrees, that they should be using this version, not these two versions. So if I get a question in degrees, I'll work with this. If I get a question in radians, personally, I work off these two. I never find myself converting radians into degrees or degrees into radians to work them out. Now I've got a couple of examples which I would encourage you to try. I'll go through the work solution in a moment. But this one, we've got to find the area and the arc length of this particular sector. The angle in here is 2.1 radians. You can see I've illustrated it with a C here rather than writing in the word radians. And for this example, we've got to just find the area of this sector. It's got an arc length of 3 centimeters and the angle subtended here is 0.8 radians. So I'll just give you a moment to pause the video if you'd like to have a go at those two questions. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for this one, the area then is just going to be equal to 
the fraction of the area of the complete circle. So that's going to be 2.1 out of 2 pi radians. And then it's going to be of the area of a circle, that would be pi times the radius squared. The radius here is going to be 8, so it'd be 8 squared. And I'm just going to cancel out those pi's there. Takes me into this version, but for what it's worth, I feel that this is just as quick. And if you use your calculator, you should find you get 67.2, and the units would be centimetre squares. And as for the arc length, let's just put that in there. The arc length is going to be 2.1 out of 2 pi radians. And then this is times 2 pi r for the circumference. And the radius is 8. And again, the pi's here cancel. So do the 2's as well. So we end up with the theta, the angle, multiplied by the radius, r theta. And if you work this out, you end up with 16.8 centimetres. And by the way, if you're using your calculator, it doesn't matter whether you're in radians mode or degrees mode. You only need to use radians mode if you're doing sine, cos or tan of a particular angle, which is in radians. OK, well, that's that one there. So how did you get on with this other one? Well, for this one, we've got to start rearranging formally. Because to get the area of the sector, I need the radius, r. So I know the arc length is 3 centimetres, so I know that 3 is equal to theta r when we're working in radians. I'll write it as r theta, theta being 0.8. And so I can obviously get r if I divide both sides by 0.8. So 3 divided by 0.8, well that gives me 3.75, and that would be measured in centimetres. So now that I've got r, I can therefore go on to work out what that area is. And the area is going to be a fraction then 0.8 out of 2 pi of the area of the complete circle, which will be pi times the radius squared. The radius now is 3.75. OK, so we square that. Again, you could just put that through your calculator, or you might want to just take out those pi's, say if you're putting them in. Working this out, you end up with 5.625 and the units will be centimetre squares. So I hope you're able to get those. If not, then you've been able to see how to do them.